Okay, so let's do let's do in John chapter twenty sorry, verse twenty-eight. I'm so sorry, I had but to did they did they make? You know yeah, what it they, is. We actually covered. I mean, I've been there for over an hour. I so could see, yeah. So much, but just yeah. give me just a few seconds. I know you're keen to go. Just give me a few seconds because I want to cover this John okay, twenty, which they, may not, which they may not, which they may not have answered. We did, we did speak to John. 20, you know, there's a you know yeah. in the in the earliest manuscript, it's called the P sixty six. Yes. Right. The, the term "my God" is not there. There's a. The term "my God" is not there. The, you know what? You know what a lacuna is. No. Lacuna is an empty space in the P66 document. So it says, my Lord, but there's no my God. However, look at it, and I'm sure they never okay, mentioned this to you. manuscripts have it, right? They don't have it, no. They do? They don't, not in the Codex Sinaiticus or the Codex Vaticanus. But those aren't the only manuscripts. They're right? the earliest Greek manuscripts, which are derived from the NIV. But we do have other manuscripts. Which, which are the old ones from the, from the KJV, which are the Codex later Receptus. Manuscripts. But they're the later manuscripts from the 10th century. But just maybe look, I just want to part, because it's very important you get this point. John chapter 20, 28, there's a lacuna in the earliest fragment of the P66. It's a credit card size document in which the term my God is not there. Okay. And the term, if you just say hypothetically, let's just play poor review. Do you know the term they use is theos? Theos is the same word used as in John chapter 10, verse 33, where it's referred to as a God. When he asked um, um, the Jews to refer to Psalm 82, 6, which defines what a God is. So the term theos, in John 20, 28 is a reference to a God, meaning one who is a representative of God. You know, you get, you know, in the Hebrew, there is no capital letters. Yes, so yes. distinguish, distinguishing between God, because it's my Lord and my God. So he's not making an equivocation to God, uh, to that, you, that he's claiming to be God. We have elsewhere in the New Testament where an equivocation is made between, um, sorry, Jesus and God. Philippians chapter 2. Verse 5 to 11. I love that you know the Bible. But but let me know I the thing is. Believe what it says. But you know when it says and, and he came um, in in the in the form of God. The yes. Greek word is morphe. So morphe. Not count equality with God. God's something to be grasped. But how if he was God? How can he not e account equality with something that he already is? No no no. It's saying he did not count that equality. Yes. Something to hold on to. Hold on to. And still Do you know what? To Do you know why? And that's in reference to Isaiah 53. That's in reference to when he empties so, himself yes. on the cross yes. and gives, pours out himself his life, because yes. he's like a second Adam. Whereas the first Adam says, failed, yes, yes. but yeah. whereas the first Adam failed, the second Adam, which he's a manifestation of, he's not to fail. That's why yes. he humbled himself because Adam didn't. So he's not making reference to him being God. And further, he literally says he is God. And, and in further, he, says he was equal to God. No, and, and you can't bypass that. Well, that, just two moments. Let's just finish this Philippians reference off because it said every knee shall bow to the name of, Je but to yes. the glory of God. So every knee shall bow, not to Jesus, in the name of Jesus, but to the glory of God. So the knee shall bow to the glory of God. Philippians chapter 2, verse 5 to 11. For although existing in the form of... Yes, okay. Therefore God has highly exalted him, Christ, and given him the name that is above every name, that at the name of Jesus, every knee shall bow in heaven on earth and under the earth. And every tongue confess that Jesus Christ is Lord to the glory of God. To the... Ah, land, check it out. To the glory no, no. of God the Father. Ah, right on. Yes. Through the conduit of the name of Jesus, yes. but the glory but is going to. Yeah, the, the glory goes to the Father. What's wrong with that? Precisely. So, heads, What's you can. So, listen here. What's your name? Judith. Judith, my Mustafa. Check. Listen Mustafa, carefully. Nice listen right. very carefully to what the passage is saying, saying to you, which I'm sure they never covered. No, we didn't go so, through that. No. Yeah, precisely, which is the analysis of what you're already looking for. So, the verse is saying is through Christ, every, is through his name, every niche. So, for example, you will offer a prayer to God, you'll bow to God, you'll prostrate to God. Through Christ as the conduit, making the supplication, so but the to the name of Jesus, every yeah. knee shall bow. But not so when they say yeah. Jesus, every knee bows. Yeah, no, but not no. Let's just do this really slowly. Sorry, at the name, I don't think yeah. we're going to agree, and I really need to get yeah. home. Okay, it's a shame. Kent, all the way in Kent. Oh my so God, sorry, it's a real shame. But okay, and you take it. Right. So. Yeah, so in, in essence, the, the the young lady over here was trying to make reference to um, John chapter twenty, verse uh, twenty-eight, which apparently uh, Jesus Isa Alayhi Salam apparently said. Um, that uh, my Lord and my God, I tried to highlight to her several points. Number one, the term my God is uh, not to be found in the earliest Greek manuscripts of the um, uh, P66 document. So it's a credit card size document which comes before the uh, Codex Sinaiticus, in which the term my God is not to be found. There's a technical term called lacuna, which is a, there's a gap there in that particular document. Then we made reference to what does the term mean? It, the term there in the Greek, and you can check it out on Bible Hub, 
for John 20:28. 20, it's a reference to a God, meaning one who represents God. We can see evidence of the same Greek word in John chapter 10, verse 33, where the term Theos is used again, which is reference to a God, which Isa alayhi salam makes reference to the Psalm 82, 6, where it says, isn't it written in your scriptures that you are God? That same word God there is used in John chapter 20, verse 28, meaning one who represents God. So these are the refutations we give. And then she was making reference to Paul's letters in Philippians chapter 2, verses 5 to, 5 to 11, which we were looking at a late, later part of the verse. It deals with every knee shall bow in, um, in the name of Jesus, but to the glory of God. So it's like supplicating to, um, to God, but asking through Jesus as, as a conduit. But the worship is not being entailed to God, uh, to Jesus, but rather it's to the glory of God. So God is the one who's receiving the glory, but Christ is the conduit. That's Philippians chapter 2, verses 5 to 11. So the issue we have, um, people who are listening here, Christians are finding it extremely problematic to find evidence from within the New Testament that Jesus has claimed to be God. In fact, every single verse that they bring up, we can bring evidence to the contrary. We've discussed these two, uh, particular verses, John chapter 20, verse 28, 2 Philippians 5 to 11. All it's showing is, is that Christ is one who is subservient to God. So the, term my, I, the, the term God is not used in the earliest manuscripts of the P66 document, the earliest fragment, and in Philippians 2, 5 to 11, every knee shall bow in the name of Jesus, but to the glory of God. Meaning God is the one who receives the glory, but through the conduit of Isa alayhi salam. Okay, that's it. Thank you so much.